Sometimes it takes doing nothing for a really long time to heal yourself. And after taking about six months off, I have never felt more like myself. I feel so creative, so motivated. And now it's time to get back into content creating and moving towards creating a business. Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to The Place for Artists. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I am balancing and maintaining my creativity. Because if you're anything like me, it comes and goes, and I'm trying to figure out how to keep it consistent. So lately, I've been in this constant loop of laying in my bed or on the couch doing absolutely nothing but watching YouTube and TV and just feeling really upset with myself because I wasn't putting in the amount of time that I would have liked into building the life that I want to live in the future, which is owning my own business, not having to work for anyone, and just being much more happy with my job and my situation. So the first thing I've been doing to maintain my creativity is I've been taking anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour and a half to sit down and do something creative. Whether I'm painting, editing, sketching, or singing, or dancing, or doing anything that I find creatively fun, I find that when I just do something, even if it's a short amount of time, it really helps boost my creativity and keeps me wanting to do more creative things. The second thing that I've been doing to maintain my creativity is making small goals. So in my sketchbook, I'll do no pressure goals where I just focus on working on something that I want to get better at, but not stressing myself out about whether it comes out good or bad. Like people say, art has to be bad before it can be good. So it's just about working on improving my skills and not being bad, not being mad if it doesn't come out good. So over the past six months, I've been heartbroken, depressed, overworked, and flat out mentally drained. People were kind of telling me that I was being dramatic because since I was making good money, I really have no reason to not be happy, but that just doesn't make sense to me. Like I'm not being overdramatic. There's no way I'm the only person out here working a job that they don't like just so they can pay the bills. I don't wanna live a life I'm not happy living. So I'm gonna share all of my struggles, my life completely with you guys. I'm gonna be completely transparent. I'm not gonna make it seem like I'm doing 100% good when I am not. I have a lot of videos lined up that are a little different, but it's going to give you insight to what it actually takes to build a business and grow on YouTube, what I'm actually doing to succeed. So since I have so many different creative hobbies, I've been finding it really hard to balance my time and maintaining my creativity across all of these different hobbies that I enjoy. So quite literally over the past few weeks, I've been breaking down, crying, not really knowing why, being so stressed and feeling like I'm just in this heavy storm that I can't get out of. While I can't say I'm fully out of that storm, I can say I am successfully on a boat sailing out of it. I'm working on improving and getting to sunnier and brighter days because I know they do exist. And I realized that because I was trying to focus all of my creativity and force it and bend it into one specific hobby, it was really stunting it and not letting it flourish. Now that I let my creativity lead my activity, it makes it so much easier to stay creative. Like I make time to edit, I make time to sing, I make time to paint. And now that I just do whatever my creativity wants to do at that given moment, it has kept me consistent and kept me moving forward instead of getting stuck, getting art blocked and feeling stressed. So since I've been putting these things into practice over the past couple of weeks, I have felt my creativity just flourish. Normally my creativity would stun and slow down, but not right now. Like with this time management and balancing it out with these different tips, I really hope that it helps you guys in the way that it has helped me. And hopefully you guys can go be creative today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.